The following is a Great Plains Television Network special presentation. Well, from the streets of downtown Wichita, Brett and Michelle, yeah. hi. Hey, how are you guys? Thanks for joining us today. We are here at the 2017 Veterans Day Parade, and it's chilly, but it's a good Woo! day for a parade. I got to tell you, <laughs> it feels today in Wichita a little like Seattle. Oh, you know what I'm yeah, saying? That's it's true. kind of got that feeling, but you I look up it. the street, and we're going to be talking a lot, everybody who's participating in our Veterans Parade here yeah, at, in yeah. downtown Wichita. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, we, we just yeah. had a flyover that just, that just went over. We're going <laughs> to tell you about it. It was the KC-135R from the 22nd Aerial Reef Ruling Wing at McConnell Air Force Base. Right. And so cool. Just went right over. Its primary mission is to provide global reach by conducting air refueling and airlift when and where it's needed. And it's only one of three super tanker wings in the Air Force. So we're going to see so many cool things coming through, the, through that support our military. Yeah. So stay with us this whole time. Really, and, and <laughs> it's so nice to also see that weather is not going to put a damper on the number of people, kids, families, oh, yeah. that are here along uh, Main Street. There, of course, is the city office buildings and what have you. You get a nice shot down the street there. But if such tradition here, Michelle, yeah. in downtown Wichita yeah. to salute the people who serve our country, I'm yeah. wearing a jacket. Tell me about it. Okay, it's my father's <laughs> Seattle police officer jacket. Oh, wow. Um, and he was in the Navy, and I thought, you know what? That's in the back of the closet. Yeah. I might as well wear that today. Keep up warm when I'm down here doing the parade, but it really is about my father, our family yeah, members, our yeah. loved ones that we're saluting today. Exactly. I love it. Yeah. And I also a shout out to my grandpa who served in the Army. He met his wife, my grandma, when he served in France, and she's from France. <laughs> and then also to my uncle who served in the Marines. Thank you for your service. Thank you to all the veterans who give of themselves freely to, to protect us and keep us safe here at home. We're I excited to honor you today. I love it. I love it. I love it. So we've got lots of uh, participants to run down the list of who's here today and yeah, also yeah. some sponsors to thank. Don't yeah, we let's start with the sponsors. We couldn't do it without you, so right. thank you so much for sponsoring us. First up, we have KBS Motors and then Kent and Roxy's. Thank you guys so much yes. for, for supporting us. Uh, also, Toppers Plus and Lorac, thank you guys so much for supporting us. Lloyd's Electronics, Farmers Insurance, Christie Patent Agency, uh, Nordic Stone, Stewart's Jewelry, also part of our sponsorship. We thank you guys. And also, Ron Wells Insurance Agency, Countryside Motors, Derby Mattress, Miller's Dry Cleaning, and Harry Street Carpet. Thank you to you guys. You guys are great. Venue 316, Carl's Goodyear Tire, Rose Hill Vet Health Center, Oliver Sports, Davis Liquor, Affordable Autos, also sponsors that because of this telecast today, we say thank you as the parade starts to get moving. And also, All Size Shed and Varnador Costumes. Thank you, everybody, who helped sponsor this today so that you could watch it from the comfort of your living room <laughs> while we free. Right, that's right. This is no Southern California. Right, this right. is no Rose Bowl today. But uh, <laughs> it's all about America. And as we take a look at our first uh, sort of units coming on down for our Veterans Parade here in downtown Wichita. It is nice to see everybody down here, even with the cold drizzle. It's true. Yeah. You know, before they get here, we also want to send out some honorable mentions to people right here from our yep. station who have served and just a uh, heart of appreciation for all that they do. Paul White, a Vietnam veteran of Wichita, and he's on Wichita Outdoors Great Plain. You can see him there. Uh, our parade sponsor, Dave Stewart of Stewart's Jewelry, was a Vietnam vet. Thank you for your service. Grant Sorensen, right there. Come There's here, Grant. Come, Come on. on in here. You got to see this guy. He makes us look good all the time. This is great. Our production Sorensen. manager. Without this guy, it would never happen. That's right. No, 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 no. no. He is a, a, a veteran as well. Thank you, Grant, for your service. Yep. Bill Outley was a Vietnam veteran. Also a tech sergeant, Peter Engbridson. I'm sorry if I'm getting your names wrong, but he was active. He's active duty in McConnell. Staff Sergeant Kyle Lay. Yep. Master Sergeant Kenji Brooks. Uh -huh. Thank you. Sergeant Nicholas Gerdes, also active duty McConnell. We say thanks. Sergeant Nick Burns, active uh, duty at McConnell. And T Sergeant Jared Layton. Uh, active duty in McConnell are great honorable mentions and yeah. people who are close to us here, of course, at the broadcast company that mm -hmm. uh, have uh, have done great stuff, great stuff, and yeah. uh, done great stuff for our country too. Thank you for your service and thank you to your families yep. for all you sacrificed for us as well. Yeah, that's well, right. Well, the parade is starting. It's. I, I'll tell you what, it <laughs> is cool. If you could have the vantage point of Michelle and I sitting Woo. here and looking down, literally, I can see the Spirit airplane way I down know, there. It's like a plane landing but, on the street. But <laughs> really, a cool way to start things off right here, right, isn't right. it? Though it is. It is. Junior ROTC, our color guards are here. They're from, of course, US 259. Such history when it comes to USD 259 mm. in the school district. Right. Right. 
and leadership program with the American flag, the Kansas flag, flags of our military services, the Wichita flag you'll notice, and the USD 259 flag, representing our youth support to veterans and to our nation. Yeah. We had some, some of the um, people that are part of the ROTC come on the show and just I love the stories that you hear of how lives are changed by just yeah. that leadership program and, and just this, the heart of service that they have. I, I and it talked with one young gentleman who's a part of it and man, just an upstanding guy. So proud that yeah. he's part of our community here in Wichita. And, and to him to have that mission, to have that passion uh, and carry it and see high schoolers right, right. in the 259 district <laughs> right. here in the city of Wichita. Michelle, it's, it's touching. It really yeah. is. Yeah. It really is. I'm trying to pick out the Wichita <laughs> flag. I think I see it. Oh, yep. See it? Kind of yep. looks like a peppermint when it's hanging out. You're right. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, whoever's doing the marketing in that oh, thing man. these days for the cleaning Wichita Cleaning up. Home, they are cleaning up, and I hope the money is going to a good cause. Yeah, you know? More flags. That's More flags. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, I hear all those motorcycles coming. Right. Junior ROTC. Yeah. I mean, keep, think about this. When we were in high school, that is the far from things that we used to think about doing, but the seriousness and, and how right. how really, really uh, united these, these young oh, kids man. are is, is, is fantastic. And building such character. Yes. Which is awesome. Yep. <laughs> All of us at Affordable Autos would like to thank our veterans for their service. Thank you. Davis Liquor would like to thank our veterans for everything they've done to protect our country and our freedom. Well, right coming up next, you can hear him coming. It's a motorcycle escort for Spirit Aero Systems. Born right here in Wichita. Yep, there they are. I'm gonna have to talk loud. <laughs> the air capital of the world, Spirit Aero Systems builds major structures that make up the world's premier aircraft. At Spirit, we are proud of our heritage, but more important, we're proud to deliver the future of aerospace today. Spirit is proud to sponsor the Veteran Days Parade and be a proud part of the Wichita community and where they are. From takeoff to landing, you can count on Spirit Aero System where flight begins. And, and also motorcycles. And motorcycles, too. <laughs> and you know what? I, I can guarantee it. Not only are these uh, Spirit employees, but you know there's a lot of people that you see right about here that have served our country. And yeah. when a, a great company like that in our community is able to put this out here when it's 40 degrees, oh, that, I know. that's a good thing. <laughs> it isn't is. It, though? it is. It Tell, tells you a little bit about our community. It really does. American flags on many of the motorcycles you see going by. That yep. is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Spirit. Spirit's part of our family. My dad worked there. I worked there. I was a. I was a graphic artist for a little really? bit. Really. Spirit Aero Systems. Because I had lots of planes. So we're learning about Michelle. She's got oh, artistic boy. ability. I love that. Oh, also Shout behind that, uh, our great banner and our truck coming up with us uh, is the Society for Professional Engineering Employees, SPIA. Uh, the in International Federation of Professional Technical Engineers, Local 2001, and a Wichita Aerospace Union at Spirit Aerosystem Inc., and a co-sponsor mm -hmm. of the Veterans Day Parade for many years. I want to thank them and the many American flags for many veterans marching here today. Riding in the SPIA truck is Raymond Franz. He is an 85-year-old veteran of the Korean War. Oh, wow. He served from 1952 to 1954. He was with Communications Division. Ray climbed telephone poles, Michelle, in Korea. Wow. He tells people that the telephone climbers had targets on their backs oh, and were constantly shot at. What a great story that is, yeah. as they also promote their toy drive. Yeah, yeah. I just, I cannot, I cannot imagine the, just the history and the stories that all these veterans have. I, I can't imagine putting myself in their shoes and just right. what, they, what they've sacrificed for us yeah. so that we don't have to have. Yeah, it's really, really cool. It really is. You know, these are a lot of the spirit families that are making their way through everything from <laughs> buggies to golf carts. It's really yeah. a cool thing to see the the unity and also in the employees. Right, right. Team spirit. Yeah. <laughs> My father-in-law got to be in the Veterans Day Parade. He's an engineer at Spirit, and he got to hold the big airplane balloon from <laughs> flying away one year, which is pretty cool. That's a tough task. Yeah, it is. If that wind comes up, you might oh, get airborne. <laughs> 
Yeah, our friends at Spirit, thanks again. And then you see, of course, the Spia banner, and we talked a little bit about, of course, Raymond Franz in the back of this pickup. Right. I'll put a dollar on it. That could be him in the back of that Ford there, but yeah. what, a, I think you're right. what a wonderful gentleman to take the time to come out here for our Veterans Day Parade in downtown Wichita. Right. Coming up right behind them, it's the American Legion Riders. The mission of the American Legion Riders is to participate in parades and other ceremonies that are keeping with the aims and purposes of the American Legion, to use our association to promote and support programs of the American Legion. And you know, when, oh, hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> there we go. Got our SPIA flag. Look at that. <laughs> you know, one thing that I love about the American Legion programs is just how much they put back into the community. I was a, I, I got to take a, a scholarship to college from from their support. And I just love not only how they celebrate our country, but also their individual communities. Right. Wonderful. Yeah. It really is. They do so much too. So much and they're, yeah, they're active. Yeah. And I know the uh, the great flights, the honor flights that come back right. to, uh, now I like to call it Eisenhower Airport, almost right. Sydney County Airport. You know, the, 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 these guys are there. The, the right. riders welcome these veterans back from the trip to Washington, D.C. That's neat. They don't it have is. to do that. Right. These guys have normal jobs. Right. And right. to see that uh, that outcome and what they've done over the past decade is special. It is. Not to mention some good motorcycles. Yeah. <laughs> the American Legion making their way through. Even a red trike. Look at that thing. Oh, wow. That thing is cool. It is. I'd like to borrow that. <laughs> Grant, could you ask that man if we could borrow that a little later? Just pull him over. Michelle and I I'm want to take a quick parade. spin. <laughs> it won't take but a minute. <laughs> the great stuff. Oh, man. I see Santa Claus oh, and Mrs. Yeah. Claus coming down. The Alpha drop zone we're going to tell you about. <laughs> our thanks to many of our sponsors today also that Woo, that's loud. Lots of play. Yeah. Oh man, the kids are eating up Santa Claus Look and out. Claus. Also, you'll see the, the best from the Alpha One Drop Zone. Your headquarters for camping, hunting clothes, and military great garb. Alpha One supports a great many of the local veterans groups. And this coming weekend, Saturday, 18th of November, we'll host a Veterans Appreciation Concert at the Cotillion. Following the Alpha One Truck are some of the sponsors for the concert and a strong supporter of our veterans. There is Santa Claus. He is about to be busy. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I don't know how he was able to fit oh, it in man. today. He's got to be so busy. Yeah. Coming up right behind them is Cloud Nine. Cloud9 Therapeutic Equine is a nonprofit therapeutic horseback riding center that serves veterans as well as children and adults with disabilities. Their mission is to heal hearts, restore health, and promote freedom from physical limitation using equine associated activities and therapies. Our hope is to transform lives one stride at a time. That is a great group, Cloud9. Fantastic. A reminder also, a lot of our veterans, of course, and our veterans' families have free meals on Veterans oh, Day. Yeah. Applebee banners, Applebee's banner right there, there certainly is one of them right there. <laughs> Those guys are great. Yeah. Coming up behind them, there's uh, Burns McDonald. You can see their sign right there, honoring those who are serving. Yep. The staff at Rose Hill Veterinary Health Center would like to thank our veterans for the freedoms we enjoy every day. Thank you veterans for your service from everyone at Lorac Company. And then Vet for a Vet, really kind of a need here. Coalition of Cedric County consists of over 40 local veteran services organizations that work together for the advancement of veterans' causes and improve the day-to-day -day life to those who have returned home. Many coalition members that you see in front of you are, match, are, are marching with that in today's parade. Also the GPS Canines is a volunteer operated canine search and rescue recovery organization. You're seeing, they were formed in 2015. The organization responds to law enforcement requests to search for missing persons, alive and deceased. Currently eight certified handlers and dogs, four puppies in training. Oh. Nationally certified, can perform operations just about anywhere in the U.S. They've worked in Texas, 
uh, for the river flooding down in that area, number of missing person cases in the areas of Wichita. They've gone international as well, but looking forward to the opportunity and everything else. So look at them puppies right there. Right behind them, it's the black and gold WSU Military and Veterans Services. Uh, the team consists of veterans upward and bound, the Student Veteran Organization, and the Military Veterans Student Center. All prepare and support veterans' needs while going through the higher education experience. Love it. Love it, love it. Katie Conklin and Florine Seely, uh, our Grand Marshals making their way down a little bit after we get to East High School. You can hear those right. guys coming up, but look at them puppies. Huh? <laughs> and that's the Midwest Battle Buddies. Yep. They provide service dogs and training to all veterans. All of our veterans are wounded warriors in need of a kind of assistance and companionship a service dog can provide. Midwest Battle Buddies, <laughs> fantastic. Here come the Marching Blue Aces oh, of Wichita man. East High School. March it out. Get it on. <laughs> what is a parade without East High School? Well. You can't have it, you what's gotta a, have them here. What's a parade without a marching band? There you go, huh? Yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> the Blue Aces of Wichita East High School. Let's check them out. Here they go. Pretty quick here, our, our Grand Marshals are Katie Conklin and Florine Seely. Katie is a WW2 veteran and a member of the mm. WAAC Women's Army wow. Auxiliary Corps. She was assigned to the Army Air Corps Station. Florine Seely is a WW2 veteran and a member also of the Women's Army Corps. She was assigned in Chicago as a recruiter. Florine also works in the office in Detroit. She served three years in the rank of sergeant. Wow. You'll see that coming up pretty quick. These are the wagon masters coming through. You can hear those guys, huh? <laughs> Also is uh, CPL Ray J. Avila and son Steve. Uh, he is a w or World War II veteran who served with the 2nd Infantry Division. He was at Normandy on D-Day and fought the Battle of the Bulge, went missing in action and ended up as a prisoner of war. In the end, he returned safely, having received the Purple Heart, Woo! Bronze Star, and the French Legion of Honor. <laughs> The Wichita Wagon there Masters, we love these guys very much. <laughs> Captain David Lawrence, proud to present the iconic wind wagon, Admiral Wind Wagon Smith 44, Wendy Johnson. There she is. Of course, so many people. There's Wendy. <laughs> the wind wagons built, operated, maintained the wind wagon group formed in 1974, and they're fantastic. Oh, man. Woo! So many people that <laughs> we know here. I can't do the loud noise. Do you love it? <laughs> and I believe that's Brian Fry that's in some sort of a cool suit there, one yeah. of our city council members. Hey, there buddy. There you go. The mayor and city council provide policy direction for the city of Wichita, developing and implementing and maintaining services to the city of Wichita. The mayor's youth council was formed in 2007 by Mayor Carb Rule and carried on by Jeff Longwell. Yep. And we are thankful for all that they do. Uh, members gain leadership experience by providing civic education and organizing community engagement talks. Our Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office is next and a proud organization serving citizens since 1871. Wow. Wow. Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office employs 437 deputies and civilian personnel. My shout out goes to these guys, of course, with my father being a police officer <laughs> yeah, and I'm wearing his yeah. jacket today. Oh, Boy, I was close. I was close. I almost <laughs> yeah. made it to law enforcement. Thank goodness. Oh, no. I can see you doing that. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Right behind them, it's six Corvettes from the Wichita Corvette Club. They are representing the Sedgwick County Manager's Office and County Commissioners. Man, those are pretty cars. <laughs> the Sedgwick County oh. government is proud to serve our community and honor our veterans. Commission Chairman Dave Unruh represents District 1. 
Michael O'Donnell represents District 2, and retired Air Force Colonel David Dennis represents District 3. Commissioner Richard Ranzu is Army veteran of the Persian Gulf and Iraq Wars and represents District 4. Jim Howell, Air Force, District 5, and Manager Mike Scholes is a former Army Brigadier General, and they lead the organization that's working for you. I see we have some royalty there. <laughs> oh, Miss Kingman we County, do. Michaela Laughlin, and her Kingman Nation team, Lydia Sharp, and Miss Heart of the Midwest, Macy Nicole Johnson, her Kingman National Team, Miss Rodeo, Miss Teen Rodeo, Kissy Marie May, also in the oh, mix. Oh, yeah, there. there they come. There they are, there. You can you'll tell see it's them coming down. Cowboy hat. The cowboy hats, is that what you gave it <laughs> off? <the> <laughs> uh, you'll see Chrissy is uh, here to honor uh, both of her veteran parents, her cousin who is a fallen soldier, mm -hmm. and all of her other veteran family members. She's a very proactive member and volunteer services for our veterans, which is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. You gotta add a little glitter and glam to every parade. Don't you? You gotta have the You the, have the to queen. have pageant girls <laughs> and queen girls, you know what I'm saying? But do you have the waves? Oh, the wave, exactly Thank right. Thank you for being here. Thank you, That the little turning of the, yes. You see, look at you, that's so <laughs> see? well. Yeah, they got, they got it, they got it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hi right, guys, thanks. Oh, they're, candy, they're throwing candy at us. I'll take that. We'll take a piece for you at home, too. <laughs> On behalf of everyone at Harry Street Carpet, we'd like to thank our veterans for their service and sacrifice. Kent and Roxy at the Spectacle Shop would like to thank our veterans for their service. Right behind them, it's the Republican Women United, and they are honoring our vet veterans walking today with a banner and a basketball. Look at that, <laughs> evidently, which works out fantastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a Model A car, which looks fantastic. I can't, that is fantastic. Oh, man. I Have love you ever that ridden car. in something like no, that? No. I haven't either. I haven't. It's beautiful. <laughs> so cool. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Somewhere in there, I thought we were going to see our friend Wink Hartman. That yeah. could have been him going by <laughs> or there. Oh. Either way, born Somebody's and raised, educated in, in Wichita, running for governor to put our state back on the right track with business and common sense. And I think he's buried in those balloons. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. No, maybe. Could not. There's Phil <laughs> yeah. there, Mr. Thompson. There's Tom, <laughs> my boys, my radio boys. They're here from oh, 1045 The Fox. You gotta do all the radios. I'll you do just, all the radio. T95 yeah. is here, of course. Our <laughs> friends at Scripps Company, breaking news, severe weather. They do so many great <laughs> things in the local here that's going through. There's my buddy Hank, <laughs> hanging out. Radio Lobo at 106.5 mm -hmm. KFDI. Beverly Brannigan runs that group, and she is fantastic. Great people, great radio group. Christmas in a box, I guess, is gonna be the KFDI thing going on. Oh, very cool. So very how cool. do we play? I don't know. We'll, I, I we'll, don't know. We'll have to ask them. Yeah, yeah. You know, we'll have it's to a go mystery. through that. It is a, a big, big, mm. huge mystery. That is it. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for watching our yeah, telecast. Yeah, yeah. Really, really appreciate it. As we said, I think the I think the drizzle has let up a little it bit. It has. Kind of nice. Now it's just nice and cloudy, not too hot. It's great. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's great. We thought. Uh, by the time we showed up here this morning down at downtown Wichita, <laughs> I said, it's going to rain hard. Yeah. It's going it, hey, to you know open what? up any minute. We yeah. can count our blessings that we're not being poured on right now, right? right? <laughs> See, there are things to be thankful for. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Got to look on the bright side. <laughs> Absolutely. We got a little lag here. Let's thank a couple yeah, of our yeah. sponsors that oh, let's do uh, it. really help put our broadcast together. We, we love doing local TV, Michelle and I. I think we've got parade duty. We've done <laughs> yeah, all the parades yeah, now. I know. But That's without good. these sponsors, uh, certainly yeah. wouldn't be able wouldn't to, to come off. Yeah. We want to thank KBS Motors, Kent and Roxy's, Toppers Plus, Lorac and Lloyd's Electronics. Thank you guys so much for, for your support of today. Farmers Insurance, uh, Christy Patton Agency, Nordic Stone, Stewart's Jewelry, Ron Wells Insurance Agency, Countryside Motors, Derby Mattress, Miller's Dry Cleaning, Harry Street Carpet, Venue 316. Thanks for sponsorship there, guys. Carl's Goodyear Tire, the Rose Hill Veterinary Health Center, Oliver Sports, Davis Liquor, Affordable Autos, and also all size shed and Barnamore card costumes. Thank you so appreciate much. Appreciate it, appreciate yeah. it. NCRI, our disaster yeah, restoration yeah. friends, of course, are next. Mm -hmm. As we uh, continue downtown Wichita on the streets of Maine, where it is cold. Yeah. <laughs> I know, and I forgot my gloves. Did you forget Woo! your gloves? It's okay, it's okay. okay. I'll, just, I'll just wave a lot. <laughs> hey, we have scored, I'll tell you what, we have scored flags. That's right, got mine. And candy, so we're doing well. <laughs> 
Coming up next, it's James Thompson for Kansas. James Thompson is a U.S. Army veteran, a father and civil rights attorney, and an avid sportsman running for the Kansas 4th Congressional District seat in 2018. James Thompson is fighting for Kansas families, veterans, educators, workers, and farmers. Twice in his life, James swore an oath to defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, once in the Army and once when he became a civil attorney. He's looking forward to swearing that oath again and living in it by Congress. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Good stuff. Cool. Next is our first infantry, div infantry division it is a mechanized, uh, an infantry division in the United States Army, the oldest, oldest continuously serving in the regular army. This year in its 100th anniversary as a division, it has been continuous service since 1917. Wow. During World War I, it was officially nicknamed the Big Red One wow. after wow. its shoulder patch and is also nicknamed the Fight, the Fighting First. It's currently based in Fort Riley. Thanks guys for coming out this morning. The 451st Expeditionary Sustainment Command is the newest sustainment command in the Army Reserve. As the Army Reserve continues to transform to meet the challenges of today's environment, the 451st ESC embodies the future of the Army Reserve's command and control of sustainment operations. That's a tank. Oh, you know what wow. that is? That is a tank. That is a tank. That is a tank, and it's a huge. It tank. is an absolute tank. The 170th Support Maintenance Company, Kansas Army National Guard. Our 451st Sustained Commandment. Look at that beautiful wow. vehicle. I'm telling you, I'm. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting mesmerized. I, I want to drive it. That thing. Oh boy, you're brave. I don't want to drive is that. It's beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm thankful that people know how to drive that. Right. <laughs> then I see some more McConnell people oh. coming up. Yep, we have um, the Kansas National Guard. There you go. The 170th Support Maintenance Company of the Army National Guard is located at the Heartland Preparedness Center, Wichita, Kansas. Its job is to provide general support maintenance to keep vehicles and equipment running. All right, a little bit more from our 22nd Aerial Refueling Wing now. We have members of the Team McConnell, McConnell Air Force Base, home of the 22nd Air Refueling Wing, Air Force Reserve Command's 931st Air Refueling Wing, and the Kansas Air National Guards. 184th Intelligent Wing, Airmen from the 22nd, 931st. They use those beautiful KC-135 Strata tankers. We see them above the city of Wichita. Man, they are beautiful. Oh, the men wow. and women of the team so cool. would like to so say cool. thank you to all, all our veterans <laughs> who, of course, serve our country. Right, right. And they're the families, too. That's right. Got the simulator there. Got yep, that all taken yep. care of. Very cool. It's a big group, isn't it, though? Yep. You gotta run the sirens at the parade. Makes it a parade. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, and there's the simulator coming down there a little further. Oh, wow. It kind of oh, makes yeah, that up. Yeah, See that? Right. You're right. That thing is uh, terrific. Take it from a pilot. I would, I would love to yeah, yeah. give that thing a spin one of these oh, days, but uh, you have to be in a certain <laughs> plan. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Such cool vehicles. Man, if you could be here and just see how huge they are. I just can't, I can't imagine learning how to drive one of those, let alone learning to right. drive one of those in a stressful situation. Right. Like, calm down. Really neat. A whole new level of thanks. Right. <laughs> Got lots still to come. As we uh, talk not only about more of our team McConnell, yeah. a couple of our veterans driving by. <laughs> Barnador Costumes would like to salute our veterans. Thank you for your service and sacrifice. The staff at Carl's Tire and Auto would like to salute our veterans and thank them for their service. We talked a little bit about the Sheriff's Department and mm. we thank those law enforcement oh, officers man. that come through and what you guys That's do. Sort of make you nervous, Michelle, when you're driving right now. You think you, your heart because of your speeding, you know, or are you a good driver? I'm a pretty good driver. I'm, I'm like the slow, safe one. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got one ticket in my life. <laughs> there was a doozy, though. It was it a doozy? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll believe you on that. How about yourself, Brett? You're a fast driver, safe driver? I think, you know, uh, let's <laughs> knock on wood. I'll knock on our stools. I don't like to say that we're safe and then head home and get right, in a wreck. Right, right. But uh, we love it. We love okay, it. Thank we you really for do. all that you guys do. Yeah. 
Uh, there's a couple of bikes that we want to talk about. Also, the Goldwing Touring Association yeah. has many veterans, POWs, along with their children and grandchildren serving in the armed forces. Look at those beautiful bikes there, the Goldwings yeah. and even some tri-bikes there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they have done rides to raise money for cancer research and the food bank. <laughs> GWTA supports all of the motorcycle clubs with their events. Also, Goldwing Touring Association welcomes all motorcycle riders in their organization. So, <laughs> necessarily, you don't have to be uh, owning a Goldwing if you really would like to want to get a hold of them, you can find GWTA if you'd like to do that. I just got emergency gloves. That's why we love Grant. <laughs> Thank you, Grant. Fantastic. Pre-warmed. Love it. And Dale Ready Mix is next. They've made our, their mission to honor, empower, and help the men and women who have sacrificed everything so they can live freedom and peace. They have painted one of their concrete trucks to raise awareness for the cause. Check, check that thing out. Wow. Um, they've donated over 83 grand to the Wounded Warrior Project. Those guys are outstanding. Thank you, they say, for what they do. The Wounded Warrior Cement Truck from our friends at Andale right. Ready Mix. Coming behind them, please give a warm welcome to the veterans of the Community Living Center at the Robert J. Dole VA Medical Center. Nice. Veterans come here from World War II to Operations Iraqi Freedom and Enduring Freedom. Isn't that neat? Oh, man what that Thank Bob Dole Center service. does and yeah. these people here who of course yeah. and, and having the scouts push them. Yeah. Do you see that? Oh I love it. Isn't that the coolest? Yeah. Good way to honor and remember the sacrifices that it takes for us the way we do. Yeah. Also the Wichita Vet Center is going to be up next for us. A branch of the Department of Veteran Affairs that serves veterans and their families by providing a community of quality care that adds value to the veterans, families mm -hmm. and communities. Care includes professional readjustment counseling, uh, community education, outreach to special populations, the brokering of services with community agencies, and provides a key access link between the veterans and other services in the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs. Here you see these guys coming and wheeling down here in yeah, beautiful vans. Yeah. I love the work that these organizations do, mostly just to give community to people who've had a similar experience as being a veteran and just kind of come around them and form a community for them Isn't that neat? Yeah. Isn't that neat how they do I that? I love right. that. Yeah, because, boy, they come home and they really need our government to step up with right. health insurance and stuff right. like that. Right. And that's wonderful. It really is. Yeah, yeah. It really, really is a wonderful thing. Coming up next, it's one of my one of my favorite places to go and shop. I gotta I gotta be be honest. <laughs> the DAV thrift stores, <laughs> fulfilling our promises to the men and women who served. In May of 1940, oh, you know what? That's the next one. But the DAV, they do such good work. One because they support veterans, but also because they provide affordable clothing, affordable coats to, to families that are in need. And you can also find really cool stuff. The last time I went and shopped there, I found an awesome vintage <laughs> retro ball gown in perfect condition. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. At the DAV? And I bought it for $10. Did you buy it for $10? <laughs> so yeah, go and shop their stores, because when you do, you're not only saving money, looking through cool stuff, you're also helping our veterans, you're helping the community. It's, a, it's just a great, great place to go and visit, and even just walk around for a day. Oh my gosh, <laughs> some of the things you can find at the DAV and what yeah. they what they do, and, and think about the money that goes back to the community. Right, right. You shop there, that dress you located, right. look out. You know what I'm talking about? Right, right. It's also a great place to donate things if you're coming into a season where you're going to be January, everybody cleans right. everything out. Right. Think about donating to them so they have things to sell and, and help support our veterans. Really is a neat thing. Yeah. Got a nice little Robert Dole Med Center mobile oh, home wow. just to yeah, get the yeah. word out. Very cool. <laughs> Serving those who serve disabled American veterans there. Right, right. Really a cool setup. Yeah, it is. Just a mobile unit to go around and be a medical unit, it looks like. Very cool. And you know, the rural vet veterans to get out, get yeah. out in the countryside oh, yeah. and reach out to our veterans right. out, of course, who are not in the metro area. Right, right. And you know, they use right. that unit all day long. Oh, man. You know, we're spoiled to have everything kind of right here. Isn't but it? You forget that a lot of the towns are four and five hours out. Yep. So this nice is the Military there. Order of the Purple Heart you're mm, seeing next. Yeah. The mission of the Military Order of the Purple Heart is to foster an environment of goodwill, camaraderie among combat. Uh, combat wounded veterans, promote patriotism, support necessary legislation, most importantly provide services to all vets and their families, 
all on the float, by the way, that you saw go by are wounded veterans who have received at least one wow. Purple Heart. Thank you for your service. Wow, yeah. right there. That's wow. a Purple Heart dude right there. Very cool. Right behind them, it's the Navy recruiting station, Wichita East. Uh, Wichita East, they're recruiters and they recruit future sailors from the Wichita metropolitan, I can't talk, metropolitan area and surrounding towns. Arkansas City, Ar Ar Kansas City, Winfield, Mulvane, Andover, Rose Hill, and El Dorado. Very nice. Very nice. The Gold Star Families are next. You see the motorcycles. Gold Star yeah. Families of America from Spirit Aero Systems. Oh, hey, thank Looks you. fantastic. All right. Go Navy. Go Navy. <laughs> On behalf of everyone at KBS Motors, we salute our veterans and will never forget their sacrifice. On behalf of everyone at Stewart's Jewelry, we would like to thank our veterans for their service. Uh, they ask for the honor and remember their sacrifice, celebrate their life, here to represent their loyalty and commitment of what they do, which is terrific. Yeah. Appreciate what those guys do. The float with the veterans and the families and the, uh, yeah, the junior yeah. ROTC leadership program, that's coming up next, that is cool. Yeah. You know, one thing I loved about what is said about these families is that, that they've all lost someone in service, and one thing that they love is to hear their loved one's name, right. you know, just, to be re just to remember them. So today, I know, is such a huge thing to have all these people out remembering the service that was given. And there's the Gold Star represented family members who are, they've lost in, in action. Fabulous float, which looks absolutely terrific. That's beautiful. And I love how they're holding up their, their pictures, too. Yeah. That is really Man. cool. Man. That's why we're out here today, to honor them. Yes. More floats with veterans and their families from all conflicts you see in front of us now. Really neat. Really, really neat. And those are kids who probably had parents through Desert Storm. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and the junior ROTC involved in that, too. Next up is the Junior ROTC flag procession. Wow. Beautiful flags. Uh, now they're representing every flag flown over the territory of the United States since it was colonized in the 1500s all the way up until today. The flags were collected by Mr. Dave Martin and are presented here by the Wichita uh, Junior ROTC and Leadership Program cadets. I mean, look at these wow. kids. These are kids from USD 259, all in the Wichita area. That right there gives me goosebumps. Look at all those flags. Isn't all those speak to something about the history of our country. Very cool. And I, I want one, the one thing as we go beyond the flags, how big our next procession from Junior ROTC. Oh, the wow. commitment of these kids <laughs> wow. is fantastic. And you see them kind of coming into frame now yeah, into our yeah. next, the centennial celebration. Uh, the Junior ROTC, it's the leadership program where they prepare high schoolers, middle schoolers mm -hmm. for leadership roles while making them aware of their rights, responsibilities, and privileges as American citizens. It is a multi, multi-level program for mm -hmm. promoting graduation from high school. It provides instruction, rewarding opportunities which will benefit the student, the community, and the nation. And check this out, currently there are 18 Junior ROTC and Leadership Corps programs in Wichita wow. with over 2,300 <laughs> cadets wow. enrolled in the program. Man. Is that the coolest? That is so cool. If you could be here and just see how many of these young people are out here marching today. It's... Help us Wow. All of them calling out their chants and walking together for each individual one. So cool. I mean, awesome. <laughs> so cool. The different groups, we talked about it. 2,300 cadets enrolled. Yeah. Wow. That is neat. It's so cool. Making their own calls, Michelle. <laughs> I love it. Their own chants. Uh, would you want to be one of the ones that?
calls out the call or repeats it. Which one would you be? I'm a follower. <laughs> How cool is that? What a 18 neat junior ROTC and Leadership Corps programs in Wichita's 259 district. This is some of a, what you're seeing right now, and this is just special. Yeah, yeah. And what an impact and a difference it makes yeah. in each one of these kids' lives to have leadership and character instilled into them at such a young age. So cool. Really neat. Really neat. All right. Hope everybody's enjoying their day. We're staying yeah, warm yeah. down here at the Veterans Parade, That's downtown right. Wichita, Long Maine. A great turnout. We showed up here and it was drizzling, and I'm telling you, it doesn't scare anybody out. Right. Not at right. all. Oh man. I think we talked a little earlier about the Kansas oh, Honor Flight. Oh yeah, yeah. Such a cool. There's program. a little bit more on that. Some yeah. of our Honor Flight people who helped <laughs> put that on. If you don't know anything about the Honor Flight program, it's it's where um, vets who they they're given a free trip to go and see their memorials for the wars that they served in. Morning. And then when they come back to Wichita, they are given a hero's welcome. It's cool. Kids it is. come out from all the high schools. Marching bands are there. People come out just to cheer them on. It's such a neat program. Yeah, and it's the Kansas Honor Flight uh, that honors the veterans of World War II, Korean, and the Vietnam War mm -hmm. by sending them to Washington D.C to visit their war memorials that were built for them by a grateful nation. And that's a lot of what you're seeing here and right, just right. minutes ago, in fact. Even got some people in costume, like retro costume. I like that. Nice, huh? <laughs> yeah. You're exactly right. That's kind of the 1950 throwback. Yeah. Look at that. Man, it's I- It's like a movie character. I wish we still dressed like that. <laughs> do you? I would, I would totally do the hat and the gloves every day. Heels while they vacuum, totally. <laughs> because yeah, that's, that's a, is a throwback great outfit, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. That is wonderful. The white gloves included. Very cool. From all of us at All Size Shed, thank you to the veterans past and present. We appreciate your service. From all of us at Countryside Motors in Wellington, thank you veterans for your service to our country. All right. I think that this might be the, the Jayhawk Wing commemorative truck with trailer uh, carrying a, is this the P222 fuselage? Help me out, Brad. I think you might be right. I'm looking for the fuselage. <laughs> huh? One of these vehicles in here. Oh, so cool though. Absolutely. Well, when it comes, the fuselage, um, it's the fuselage of a Ryan PT-22, which is currently under restoration. Yeah. Oh. You can see that coming oh, down the Oh, you're right. Oil. It's a little ways down there. A little bit more on that. Uh, it's a, uh, all pilots would have trained in this type of airplane before moving on to more advanced aircraft and eventually individual assignments during the Second World War. Wow. Now, what kind of planes do you fly, Brent? Well, the minor, minor, just a, a little bit of baby Cessnas. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. I kind of hang out where you live, out in Benton, yeah, Kansas. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that, that is, uh, of course, our little putt butts. But nothing like what you're seeing yeah. this airplane come in restoration. Now, what would it have been like? To fly like that? Woo, I'm telling you, I'll be gripping. All metal recycling, of course, before that aircraft. Oh, yep. The box truck supporting it on our flights for our veterans. We thank you guys for mm -hmm. what they do. But there you see the aircraft in restoration. The Ryan PT-22 PT fuselage, I just got to tell you, with a wood prop like that, oh. uh, no thank you. Oh, I mean, man. that's a brave man. That's a whole other level of brave. <laughs> that Very is beautiful. Very cool though, so cool. Exemplified, Commemorative Airport, Westport. Woo! <laughs> Westport Airport. There we go. Fantastic. Right here is the Military uh -huh. Officers, uh -huh. Officers Association of America. The Military Officers Association of America is a nationwide membership of more than 370,000 members. Wow. And it's the country's largest military officers association. The MOAA's purpose includes military benefits, counseling, educational uh -huh. assistance uh -huh. to children of fam military families, and strong involvement in community activities. 
Outstanding. There's our core and, uh, Korean War veteran families and friends, mm -hmm. the Air Capital Detachment. Uh, with our Air Capital Detachment Marine Corp League. You'll see these guys moving across yeah, here. Yeah. Great. Coming behind them is the Tornado Alley Young Marines. Hey. Uh, they're a Wichita-based youth group that was formed in May 2002 by four Marines who believe passionately that the values they learn as Marines have a positive impact on them. Wow. And those are some cool kids. I've interviewed a couple of them, and man, sharp. Aren't they? Sharp. <laughs> Great stuff. Great stuff. And just past, it's the submarine veterans of World War II. Doing like that, including Man. those who served aboard the U.S. submarines during World War II, Korea, Vietnam, the Cold War, other conflicts. In the 115 years of those guys in the submarine service, we have lost 65 submarines and some 3,500 men. U.S. Man. submarines pulled 502 downed airmen out of the water during World War II, including future oh, President H.W. Right. Bush. You see those wow. guys. So thanks wow. for being out here, the United States submarine veterans. Yeah. Behind them, it is the U.S. Coast Guard veterans. Thank you for your service. They, it was, the Coast Guard was created by an act of Congress in, in 1790 when it was first called the Revenue Cutter Service. In point of continuous service, it is the oldest of the nation's sea-going and armed forces, numbering just below 40,000 service members in the Coast Guard. It's also the smallest of the armed forces. The Coast Guard mission includes search and rescue, law enforcement, maintaining aids to navigation in coastal waterways, and protection of the maritime environment. Our sons of the Confederate Veterans Camp are next, honoring the Confederate veterans. Nothing more, never less, they say. Mm -hmm. Approximately 95% of their members are themselves U.S. veterans in the U.S. military. We thank those guys mm -hmm. for coming out today. Grassland Estates, American Legion Post number 422 is next. Grassland Estates is a retirement community with a number of military veterans, and it means mm -hmm. so much for those guys to yeah. get, a, get who they can aboard and come on by to our parade today. I think there's people, yep, there's a couple of guys <laughs> aboard that. Over on West 13th Street. You know what, we have a little bit of a break. Let's give one more shout out to our sponsors. Yep. Again, we could not do this without you. I'm gonna find my sponsorship paper here in a minute. <laughs> but if I can't, Brett, do you have your sponsorship I'm gonna paper? Go, I'm gonna flat out have to say a big no to that, but okay. we'll find it momentarily, Wait, I promise oh, you. there it is, got it. Quick. We, uh, yeah, uh, and I tell you, we talk about doing local television <laughs> without these sponsors to be able to do this. It's, uh, right. it's terrific. We'll get to that in just a second. Derby Mattress salutes our veterans. Thank you for your service and sacrifice. Thank you, veterans, for your service from the Christie Patton Farmers Insurance Agency in Derby. Let's say here in uh, our VFW post commander, of course, with right. those guys, of course, 112 is in there front of us. There they are, such a cool float. They have uh, chartered since the uh, 1920s, as a matter of fact, post 112, one of the oldest posts in the nation. will turn 100 years on January 14th of 2020, wow, currently serving wow. over 400 members here in the city of Wichita. Behind them, it's the Mid-Kansas Military Vehicle Preservation, and they are a chapter of Military Vehicle Pres Pres Preservation International. They present and preserve the history of military vehicles, and wow, so cool. I'm glad that they do that because it's so neat to see how far we've come and where we've been. 25 Corvettes, does that sound like a good number to you? <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take oh, it. Boy. You go ahead and just do a little shopping right here for Santa <laughs> as it comes go. by. This is the Wichita Corvette Club, the Southwinds Corvette Club, and I see a bunch of these guys oh, wow. always out of Benton Air Park, always doing great <laughs> stuff. Air Capital Corvette Club also in on that one, the National Corvette Restorers Society of Wichita, also proud to recognize our nation's veterans and their service to our country. They're also proud to drive America's true sports car, they say, for over <laughs> 60 years, and that wow. is the Chevrolet Corvette. You know, my husband took me out to a new restaurant here in Wichita, and we didn't know they were having like a club meeting, so the whole parking lot's full of Corvettes, <laughs> and we get out and we're like, can we afford this? Right. I, don't, I, don't I don't know, know if we can. Are we gonna find a table? <laughs> right. More oh, Corvettes so cool. and our Vets for Vets, which is really kind of a cool thing oh, in the yeah. program that they do. While you're watching this Corvettes, we'll give a quick shout out to our sponsors, yep. KBS Motors, Kent and Roxy's, Toppers Plus, Lorac, Lloyd's Electronics, Farmers Insurance, Christy Patton Agency, and Nordic Stone. Thank you so much for your, your sponsorship. Stewart Jewelers, Ron Wells Insurance Agency, Countryside Motors, Derby Mattress, Miller's Dry Cleaning, Harry Street Carpet, Venue 316, Carl's Goodyear Tire, Rose Hill Veteran, Veterinary Health Center. We thank you also for you guys teaming up for the telecast. Shout out to Oliver Sport, Davis Liquor, Affordable Autos, and also a big thanks to All Size Shed. 
and Varnador Costumes. Thank you so much for your support. Appreciate these guys. They appreciate these guys. How are you? Somebody mixed a Cadillac in with a Corvette. Oh, snuck it in there. You must be a member. <laughs> <laughs> it's just to see if you're paying attention. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> hey, we also love Boy Scouts. Uh, St. Anne's Boy Scout Troop 810 is in front of us. Of course, St. Anne's Catholic Church, the Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts, they want to thank all of our veterans, past and present. They say, God bless each one of you who made the sacrifice mm. to defend our great nation, give our freedom. Yeah. How nice it is to see our kids get involved it in something is. like that. Oh, I love it. I think it, it gives kids such stability when you can help them be a part of the community in such a, an effective way. So cool. Yep. Lots of those. <laughs> Here they are. Say hi to you. Say hi to you. There you go. Oh, even some kisses. All Thank right. You. They're blowing you kisses on your couch at home. <laughs> down on the streets of Main Street. That's right. Of Wichita for our Veterans Parade. Well, you saw the Boy Scouts. And up next, it is the Heritage American Heritage Girls. Uh, American Heritage Girls is a Christ-centered organization for girls in kindergarten to 12th grade. AHG's mission is to build women of integrity through service to God, family, community, and country. Wow. Trail Life USA is a Christ-centered outdoor adventure character and leadership program for boys in kindergarten through 12th grade. Look and up. both American Heritage Girls Troop 8, 281 and Trail Life Troop 281 are chartered by Teaching Parents Association of Kansas. Lots Isn't, of great kids. Wow. <laughs> hey, and to be able to run in a parade and thank our veterans, that's a pretty good Saturday. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that is a pretty good Saturday. Skip the cartoons today. Right. <laughs> Oh, and they've all made homemade signs. Isn't and that you cool? See that. That's so, so cool. And here comes the trail life right behind them. So that first one was the girls. Here comes the boys. Right. They have their own signs too. So neat. Really neat that they do this. And you know, there's a lot of grandkids in this group and people yeah. of, of course, of kids who've had parents who serve right. our great country. Right, right. So it's nice to see the kids making Great recognition. Everybody loves motorcycles. How about the Combat <laughs> Veterans Motorcycle Association next, established in May of 2001. 45 members oh, uh, wow. right now are veteran issued, a group known as the Original 45 established the vision as a veterans helping veterans. The local Wichita chapter 213 established in August of 2012. Currently over 60 support members and they are proud to support our veterans. We say thank you to those guys. Uh, they can honor their sacrifices and all the great things they've done for our country and more beautiful motorcycles, Michelle. Yeah, yeah. You know? I love it because they've got their music blasting yeah. Lee Greenwood and all that as they as they roll by. I you know? A few of them are singing too. You can hear them as they go by. That's cool. It really is. Coming up behind them, it's the Horseless Carriage Club. So you wow. go from motorcycles to horseless carriage club. <laughs> they enjoy keeping the traditions of our early transportation alive by restoring and driving antique cars and trucks. They're here to thank all veterans for their service, for giving us the freedom that we have today. We must continue to be vigilant to protect these freedoms every day is what they say. Wow, those are beautiful. <laughs> yeah, they are. Lots of restoration in those girls right there. Oh, man. I don't think you're going to have GPS in those, though. <laughs> <laughs> that one looks like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Oh, you're right. I love that movie. I love that movie. Oh, man. Except I let my kids watch it, and then I hear the song for the next, for the next 10 days. <laughs> exactly right. Our VFW Memorial Post 3115 is next. You see some motorcycles coming in the distance. We'll talk about those guys, but this is a little bit more on our friends from the Horseless, Horseless Carriage Club. Yeah. Good stuff. I'm not sure I, it's beautiful, but I want that truck to put my house fire out. <laughs> I'm not sure it's got a, That's enough, true. A, a little more umph. Yeah. But it's beautiful, isn't it? It is, man, so cool. Good stuff. Yeah. You know what? Grant gave me his gloves, but I can't turn the pages, so <laughs> I'm just going to tough it out. Tough it out. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Oh, you, you get things handed to you while you're on I live do. TV. I'll take it. That's good there marketer. Go. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Appreciate Fantastic. it. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. 
Marketing 101. There we go. Love it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs>74 looks like Corvette too, but there's oh, that there Pacer. Cool. Okay, that there 78 we go. Pacer. That thing is awesome. <laughs> oh man. Um, they will <laughs> proudly drive their beautiful patriotic 78 AMC Pacer uh, in the Veterans Day Parade. But look at that thing. That oh, is man. throwback. That came out when you weren't even a handshake. <laughs> okay. Oh, even red, white, and blue. I think I might have had one of those in high school. Grant's right. <laughs> Oh, and I don't think it's cool. that, but look at the, here comes the Via Christi Via village and the T-Birds <laughs> making their way through. <laughs> oh, I left my water over there. Sorry okay. about that. Oh, that's okay. Next up, we have the Mid-Kansas Vintage Thunderbird Dang. Club. 15 classic vintage Thunderbirds, and they are enthusiasts. The, the club's mission is to is for preservation, restoration, and enjoyment of four Thunderbirds from 1955 wow. through today. Good, beautiful. <laughs> but to the main purpose of the Thunderbirds is to enjoy them and have fun. The majority of these owners are veterans of Korea, Vietnam, Desert Storm, and many have served in the National Guard. We respect and appreciate the sacrifices and the services by all branches of the armed forces everywhere. Wow, look at all of them just coming by. Those T-Birds are... <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. You think wow. about the passion they put into that. In right. fact, the next, I think, 10 minutes is going to be T birds followed by Mustangs. <laughs> I think you're right. But uh, it is really great for these guys also not to have in common not only just that automobile, but also serving our country. Right, right. I see a POW flag on that blue oh, one there. Wow. You know, that says something. Right. Story behind every flag. Beautiful car. I like this dusty rose one right here. You like that one? Yeah, that's pretty that cool. That is kind of a cool one, isn't it, though? Except I think I do without the top. Just like, <laughs> take that top. Okay, <laughs> I will. I'll take that baby blue one. Yeah. I'll take that one home to my oh, wife. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That thing's stunning. Yeah. But there's your there's your soft top. There's your convertible, Michelle. Oh, yeah. Through. Oh, you're right. There we go. There's a convertible. Okay. <laughs> you could probably make him an offer as he goes through. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got like... 50 bucks in my penny so jar at home. I, I don't right? think that'll work. Okay. Maybe a ride. <laughs> Maybe something. Yeah. We Come talked on. about the Mustangs. Uh, you'll see coming into a, uh, the frame after we get our T-Birds through, our South Central Kansas Mustang Club. Very uh, cool. They are in the area of the Mustang America Representative Club. They are dedicated to their preservation, restoration, and the love of Mustangs. Mm -hmm. And today, here in Wichita, they would like to wish our veterans the very best. Mm -hmm. Okay, pick your favorite here, Michelle. Man, I think I'm. You're going it's, convertible. It's kind of like a, kind of 
kind of like a heart a tie between <laughs> this one with the flashing lights right here with the cool little headlights and the blue lights. Yeah, underneath. the kids would like that. That's like new and cool. Yep. But I also like that one with the stripes on it back there. That was pretty neat. The white one with the yeah, blue. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How about yourself? I'm going black, shocker color. <laughs> oh, there you go. My shockers won again last night, so oh, I, yeah, I, I've got to. <laughs> I'm full on. I might go just go the black one because that seems to be the convertible of the Mustang Club working through the Veterans there Parade you here. <laughs> you like that one, huh? Mustang goes back so many years. Yeah. Back Such to the a classic great car. 60s, really. It is. It's Shelby's. Oh, yeah. Those are pretty cars. <laughs> the Cobras. My husband said one day he wants to restore a Datsun. A Datsun? Yeah. I like that. <laughs> he bought. He actually bought an old one, a junky one that he was going to restore, but then we had kids and we had to sell the car. <laughs> so I told him someday, kids are in college, I will track one down. <laughs> Listen, I had the same thing go down. Mine was a, I had a little putt-putt airplane and right when the girls were born, that little Cessna was sold. Oh, because, man. you know, our hobbies, you got to put off That's until right. the kids are out of the house. Dad, That's right. right. <laughs> That's right. More cars after the Mustangs. Right. Uh, the Wheat State Falcon Car Club has two to three. And I want you to look at these Falcons. These things also are really unique. And talk about car clubs that go out of their way on a Saturday. Yeah, yeah. To say thank you to our veterans. You'll see those guys coming in. The orange followed by the cool blue. Okay, so those are the Falcons up there? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm, That'll be your last Mustang here. I'm car illiterate. So no, this you're is, doing this great. Is helpful. <laughs> But those Falcons and both convertibles, those yeah, guys yeah. coming out in our parade today. Very cool. So we've got the Falcons. These three, first three are Falcons. Yes, right? ma'am. And then is this the next set that behind That one them? also would be a Falcon. Also a Falcon. The blue one okay. bringing up the rear. Okay, okay. And then a, Cup, Dodge Charger and a Corvette in the next group oh, over there. Wow. Um, that is the 316 Ooh. Modern Mopar oh, okay. group <laughs> that you'll see behind this Falcon. Those guys are kind of cool. They formed the past summer and and uh, growing quickly, the 316 Modern Mopar. 316 is a free to join group of Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram owners wow. and enthusiasts to share automotive events, meetups, cruises, news, customization ideas, and even repair tips. Yeah, yeah. They're on Facebook, but uh, those guys are fantastic. <laughs> I love that they come out and just be a part of filling in the parade with such cool with cars. cars to look I at. Know. Yeah. Isn't that the neatest? You know, they said that this That parade... is a young driver. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on a lap, we yeah. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. But they said that, they, that their parade entries are up 50% this year. This they, is, I don't know if this is the largest one, but it's pretty a pretty big, pretty big one. So I'm thankful for all the community support that's yeah. out here today. <laughs> 316 Modern Mopar. Modern Mopar. Air Force veteran on the side of his uh, charger there. <laughs> It looks like you can also find them on Facebook if you want to check them out. Facebook.com 316 Modern Mopar. So you can check out all the cars there or maybe join the club. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I'm telling you. I was hoping to see our friends at Cox Communication, but next it's my buddies at the Walzer Automotive Group. Oh, These yeah. guys and Melody yeah. do such a great job. 13th and Greenwich, Acura, Audi, BMW, Jaguar, Land Rover, Lexus, Mercedes-Benz, Mini, Porsche. 5% of all their pre-tax earnings go to Walzer's Foundation, wow. which really is a fun thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Now, were Don't, you guys out driving some of these? Yesterday? We were driving Ooh, these guys, and they are fantastic people. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> we like it. We like it. We do something that uh, is really kind of neat with Brett and Sierra, and yeah, there is yeah. our there's our buddy there. <laughs> and where we uh, get a chance to get behind yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Home Health of Kansas is next. Hospice, uh, all the health care needs, home health, uh, private duty and hospice, serving our mm -hmm. veterans as level four partners as they honor mm -hmm. veteran programs, keeping our veterans and families healthy, making better lives better since 2005. Locally owned and operated health care specialist. Man, you see them there in the purple. A, what a service and ministry and help to so many families that 
need help taking care of their loved ones in home. Yep. I think that's oh such such a great service right. to be able to stay in your home and have help come to you. It really is. <laughs> it really is. And then they go out of the way. I think it's terrific <laughs> what they do there. <laughs> Right behind them, we have Cox Communications. Looks like they're coming up behind them. It's a broad brand communications and entertainment company providing advanced digital, video, internet, telephone, and home security and automation services over its own nationwide IP network. It's the third largest US cable company and Cox serves approximately 6 million residences. Uh, unbelievable, <laughs> that, th th those are my peeps. Yeah, that's those right. Those are my that's peeps. Right. <laughs> These guys are uh, fantastic. I see a couple of coworkers that I know over there. Oh, very cool. Um, great, great people for Cox Communications. Those guys do fantastic. Of course, with the other little TV gig that I have. Right, Which right. is fantastic. <laughs> Love it. The Ron Wells Farmers Insurance Agency in Derby salutes all of our nation's veterans. Hi, and at the Venue 316, we just want our veterans to know how much we love you and appreciate you. And if you come in to see us, it's 10% off. And I'll tell you what, we'll even throw in for our police officers and our first responders, they get the 10% off too. Thanks guys. Love it, love it. Now this pink one, this Do you pink like that one? Truck. Do you like I that like fire that. truck? Pink heels, it looks like a group that helps support veterans. Very neat. PinkHillsKansas.org. You can find out more about them. Yep. Continental Siding. I see those guys are also here today. Oh, yep. Uh, of course, helping homeowners and home uh, solutions since 1982 with their seamless system. Just say, Jerry says, call now. <laughs> That's right. Call now. <laughs> Don't you love him? Hey, that's a great marketing move. Open Prairie Trikers, those guys are next. That is a cool thing. There you go. So this is a trike. I was wondering when I read this script, what is a trike? And there it is. That's it. Motorized trike, makes so sense. You've got a car engine. See that out okay. front? That's oh, cool. Oh, you're right, yeah. On some of those. Very cool. Okay. Coming up behind them, you can hear them and see them coming. It's the Kansas Country Cloggers. They're clogging today on their float to patriotic music, paying tribute to the many men and women who have served in war times. Check out their dance moves. They got some sweet dance moves today. Don't you love that? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got a good sound system. Yeah. I have to say no. <laughs> have you? No, square dancing, but never clogs. But what a neat thing. For, look at the enthusiasm. Hey, I like it. That's why they're staying warm. There you go. We can Keep do moving. That. <laughs> Keep moving. Our friends from the Pepsi Beverage Company is next. After the cloggers. Isn't that neat? That's neat. <laughs> I love on the Pepsi truck how they have the banner with all their veterans on there. Isn't that neat? So Pepsi cool. is proud to shine its red, white, and blue. Uh, the Wichita plant became a production company in 1982 for Pepsi. Um, that's really cool. 35 yeah. years later, they distribute to all 50 states in Puerto Rico. The sole manufacturer of life water. Wow. And the first plant to produce Aquafina here in Wichita. Wow. Man. They want to thank all the veterans and their families for the sacrifices. I agree. I like that banner out front. Yeah, it's a neat idea. Cool. Behind them, it's the Wichita Area Union label. The Wichita Area Union's honoring our veterans for their service while promoting Buy America, Buy Union. Very cool. Isn't that cool? Uh, so people were smart in this next floor. They brought their umbrellas. <laughs> <laughs> it is coming down a little bit. Oh, boy. Wichita Area Union labels coming up. Wichita Area Union honoring the veterans and their services while promoting Buy America, Buy go. Union. We see there. Yes. I like their flow, too. Yeah, Put a yeah. little effort into it. As right, we said, they yeah. stand together. American yeah. Red Cross is right behind them. All the great things the American Red Cross. What a year oh, they've wow. had yeah. with all of these disasters. Oh, hey. Good to Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 
See, she gets all the candy. I don't get anything. See, I, I took this seat first because I knew I was going <laughs> The Angels Care Home Health is next. We thank those guys for being yeah. here today. Oh, man. Wow, right behind them, we've got Cloud9. They came by a while before. They're yep. the equine group that helps with therapy equine programs. And there you go, they brought out some horses on a carriage today. And it looks like they're in costume from Civil War outfits. Very cool. Neat? Yeah, very neat. Just a reminder of the history of our military, how far reaching our military past is. The Mounted Color Guard wow. at Fort Riley, Kansas. And somebody with a really large horn. <laughs> oh, Isn't that cool? <laughs> Angels Home Healthcare we talked about, the yeah. Medicare paid benefit, the home of many, many veterans. Our first infantry division, the Mounted Color Guard coming by. Right, right. Mounted Color Guard, right. absolutely great to see them out today. Oh yeah. Looks like behind them we have the Sedgwick County fire trucks and EMS, and you're going to hear them. <laughs> fire truck, our EMS. Really, really honored to have those guys here today. Bringing up the rear. probably knew it and he had earplugs put in, I would guess. Well, you can't have a parade without lots of sirens. Veterans Day Parade on the streets of Wichita. It's okay. Brett and Michelle and great, great day. A super yeah. turnout yeah. on this Saturday. I'll be honest with you, I didn't come down here. I didn't think I'd see, we would see half the people here. Right, oh man, the streets were full. Wonderful. <laughs> I had to park a couple blocks away. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful stuff. Before we're done, we want to give one more shout out to all of our sponsors who made it possible for you to see the parade right here today. It's KBS Motors, Kent and Roxy's, Toppers Plus, Lorac, <laughs> Lloyd's Electronics, Farmers Insurance, Christie Patent Agency, and Nordic Stone. Thank you so much for your sponsorship. Appreciate you guys. Uh, of course, Stewart's Jewelry, Long Wells Insurance, Countryside Motors, Derby Mattress, Miller's Dry Cleaning, Harry Street Carpet, Venue 316, Carl's Goodyear Tire, Rose Hill Veterinarian Health Center, Oliver Sports. Thank you very much for what you guys are doing. Appreciate that. And another big thanks to Davis Liquor, Affordable Autos, All Size Shed, and Varnador Costumes. Thank you so much for sponsoring the program today. Yeah. Good stuff, and yeah. we uh, we like doing this. This is yeah. the great thing that we uh, we come down for our community, put this on yeah. television, and really at locally, it, it, it's a night, not only a way to come down here, but also to to sit back in the comforts of your living room right. and see <laughs> really how, as a community, we come together to say thank you. Right. Right. Although I gotta say, if you sit in your living room and don't come down, you don't walk away with a water bottle. Or candy. Saying. That's right. I got a pocket full of Tootsie Rolls and a water bottle. <laughs> friends at the EMS. Right. You always know the parade is over when the street cleaner comes. Right, that's the last Isn't one. That right? That's the last float. Yeah. Hey, again, thanks to our staff, our crew. Grant, we're ready to do just sort of wrap it up a little bit. Hey, Michelle, thanks. It was awesome yeah, to work with you. Too, As always, uh, more local programming coming up and uh, anything yeah. you want to say about our veterans before we go? Oh, man, just a big thank you, not only to the veterans, but also to the families who wait on them to come home and who live life without them for, for us. So thank you so much to everybody. Yeah, and our family members, too. I wore my father's police officer jacket from the Seattle Police Department because Great. 
that's part of our family that's been veterans and uh, right. we, we miss him, we appreciate that and yeah. it's been a fun Saturday. Yeah, thanks to my grandpa Norman and my uncle Salvin for serving in the Army and in the Marines and thank you to all the vets who are watching today. We I appreciate love it. it. <laughs> so take care, we'll return to our programming already underway and until next time, Brett and Michelle, see you later. Everyone at Toppers Plus would like to thank all veterans for their service to our country. On behalf of Millers, Cleaners, and Wichita West RFC program, we salute our veterans. I hope you had a chance to tune in and watch the 2017 Veterans Day Parade. I'm sitting here right now with Colonel Mike George, and he was in charge of, or Lieutenant Colonel, I'm sorry, right. of the U.S. Air Force, who helped to put together this whole parade. Right. Tell me a little bit about what that was like in the process leading up to today. Well, uh, we took on this project 14 years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, we used it for our cadets to right. be able to give back to the community and let them understand how big a project can be. Uh, and so we start off in May, April, May, trying to pick a theme. Sure. And then uh, come the beginning of school year, we'll start sending out invitations to all the organizations yeah. and uh, try and figure out how to line them all up. Right. Uh, this year we had 99 entries. Wow. It was uh, <laughs> the second largest parade I've been involved with uh, in 14 years. So all total, we had something close to 300 vehicles and another 2,000 people in the parade. Wow, I believe so. it. It was, it was huge and it was wonderful and I loved how much of the community came out to support Yeah, I, I was, to be perfectly honest, I was surprised that this many people came out in this kind of weather. Sure, sure. But we greatly appreciate it, all the veterans do. Uh, so. I think one Thank of my favorite for... things about the parade was seeing all the ROTC groups and the youth that were there just showing yep. up today in groups and you can see the camaraderie and just what it meant to them to yep. be a part of it today. And, 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 <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why we do it. Right. Um, and you, you probably saw all the other veterans groups. Plus we had the army yeah, here, yeah. the first infantry came down. Right. Uh, we had a couple of guard and, and army reserve units. The, uh, 22nd Area Fueling Wing was here yeah, from McConnell. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of folks, yeah, a lot of folks. Yeah. So what does it mean to our veterans here locally to have a parade like this and to see the support? Well, being in the Midwest, and, and I've spent time all over the world, uh, being in the Midwest, I think we've got the most supportive group of people you could ask for anywhere in, in the country. And um, it warms their heart, especially yeah. the uh, the Vietnam veterans sure. and the Korean veterans. Yeah. Uh, they, you know, they're just now starting to feel like the country appreciated what they did. Right, right. And if uh, if you haven't been involved with the Honor Flight group, right, you need to you need to take oh, a look yeah. at that <laughs> because uh, those folks, it, it means so much to them right. to be able to go see their monuments and have a reception when they get back to right, just to say right, thank you. Right. And so, I love that program. Yeah. I love that it just brings the community out and gives them the heroes welcome that it they does. didn't have before. It does. Okay, so, so last question. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite float in the parade or group in the parade that walked through? I, I always <laughs> like the flags. Uh, yeah. Mr. Dave Martin uh, yeah, has yeah. been doing this for a number of years now. He has collected every flag, a copy of every flag that has flown over the United States. Yeah. And uh, it's just amazing to see all of those together. Yeah. And, and then <coughs> Excuse me. When he uh, when he puts them out on display, mm -hmm. he'll have books there that de describes every sure, flag. Sure. So you have the whole history. It's it's pretty yeah. amazing. Very cool. I love that one too. And just to, just to think that every single one of those flags represents a period of our history, a time that we right. lived out, time that we grew as a nation. Exactly. So cool. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for all of your work on the well, thank parade. thank you. Appreciate putting it. Putting it together. It was beautiful. Okay. <laughs> and I hope you'll join us next year to see the next 2018. 365 days we do it again. There you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. All right. Thanks. <laughs>